This feels wrong. And yet so right. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the real action heroes Kill La Kill, Satsuki Kid Yuin, Kamui Junketsu version. So here we are, and there she is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front, you have Kill La Kill, you have a nice picture there of Satsuki. She's happy. She just killed somebody. She's satisfied. On the side of the box you have Satsuki, on the other side of the box you have Satsuki, on the top of the box you have, look, Satsuki, on the bottom of the box, guess what, guess what, guess what, Satsuki. On the back of the box you have angry Satsuki, yelling at everybody, and this flap up front opens up, right there is where the figure would sit, and on the inside flap you have more angry Satsuki, just yelling at everybody. And there you go, that's it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have Satsuki Kiryuin, the main rival of Ryuko on Kill the Kill, and uh, a very, very cool figure. So glad to finally have this, and a very nice figure, very cool. We're getting closer here on the head sculpt, so you can see what's going on here. Love, I, I love the work they do on the eyes. The eyes just look amazing. It just looks so, it's so anime, and it looks so good. Very, very nicely done. This is her uh, her serious face, which she has right now. See her little horns right here. And uh, Junketsu himself, or itself, herself, I don't know if Junketsu actually has a gender, but Junketsu here does have some nice details to him right here in the eyes. Very nicely done and picked out with some black outlines there. Looks very nice. And Junketsu's paint scheme is very simple, just white with blue trim, and you get some bits of black throughout. A little bit of black right here, there you see the vents on the sides. And just overall, very, very nicely done. As you can see, I mean, again, the warnings on, you know, the warning at the beginning of the video is because, you know, it's, <laughs> you know, again, she's not wearing much where she should be wearing something, so, yeah. So, <laughs> but, um, getting down to uh, the other details of the suit, you can see here, just very nice blue lining here on the suit itself. Her hair is a soft plastic up front, so it will, you know, kind of sort of move out of the way. It is a bit flexible. You don't have to worry about breaking it or anything. Her hair on the back is a bit stiffer, so unfortunately this will hinder her head articulation a lot, but it's still very nicely done and nicely detailed. Uh, coming down the sleeves here, you can see again that nice white and blue paint scheme. Got a little bit of black right here. Nice cuffs. The cuffs are a, uh, a hard plastic. And then you get these little hip pieces right here, which are a hard plastic, which are done in that same white, blue, and black paint scheme. You get the straps here, which are a, a soft plastic. She does have a soft rubber body right here, which is flexible. And then you got the stockings right here. Again, just white with the blue stripe going down the front. Um, you got her high heels right here. Again, just done in blue. Even got some detail here on the bottoms. Some black right there. Very nice. Uh, the back of the suit, again, there's not a lot going on here, but I do like the, uh, the kind of, uh, the kind of spine look here on this piece. This piece is supposed to tuck in right under there. I do like that kind of, like, uh, you know, spine-looking piece right there. And yeah, she is wearing a full-on G-string, so yeah! Okay. <laughs> but still, very, very cool figure. Articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. Again, the hair on her back will limit the articulation, so side-to-side -side movement is pretty much limited to that. That's as far as she's going to look to the sides. She can look up a little bit. She can look down pretty well. Um, you know, you can get some good wiggly-waggly movement, but as far as side-to-side -side movement, the hair does hinder that. Uh, the big shoulder spikes right here are on joints. You can see right in here. You can see it's on a double joint right here and also at a ball joint right there at the base. So you can actually angle these however you wish, which is nice. On the arms, can't do a full 360, but of course she has these giant shoulder spikes that kind of don't really hinder that much, but they hinder enough. I mean, she can still raise her arms up pretty much parallel to the ground and backwards, almost the same. She can raise her arm up, you know, parallel to the ground, but she can't bring her arms up all the way, unfortunately. Um, does have an elbow joint, does have a bicep swivel, 
Uh, the wrists can rotate and they are on an inward, oops, well you can see the joint right there now since the hand popped off, but it is at a joint right there. If you move it the wrong way, it'll pop the arm off, but there you go. Yeah, that joint right there. You can manipulate how you want to get the hands moving. She does have an ab crunch, which is nice. So she does have a little bit of a swivel, kind of, sort of, maybe, but not really. Um, the one <laughs> the one thing that I noticed when I first saw the pictures of this toy, and I'm sure people will complain about it, it's, it's kind of a valid complaint, is the hips. I mean, the hips... Th this whole thing right here is is a little bit of a mess because this is this again is just that it's that soft rubber and you can see it's easy to just kind of move it out of shape and move it out of position when you're trying to pose the legs so that's a little bit unfortunate I wish they had found some other way to deal with that maybe if this had just been you know a more solid plastic instead of this rubbery uh, plastic. Maybe that would have made it a bit better, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, the legs, she can move her legs up, she can move them back. Again, these things are not actually connected, so you don't have to worry about snapping anything, because they will move as you position the legs. They can go in and out. She does have a thigh swivel, although it's very tight on mine, but she does have a thigh swivel. She does have knees. The one thing that they did do better on Satsuki than with Ryuko is that her stockings here are not actually attached to her. So when you bend the knee, the stocking, as you can see, will come down to facilitate the knee movement. So that's very nice. You really don't have to worry too much about, you know, stretching this out and possibly splitting it because it will just move down when you bend the knee. So that's nice. Um, a definite improvement from, uh, from Ryuko. And then you come down here to the foot, the foot can hinge up and down, and you do get a nice tilt right there, so. Pretty poseable. Um, definitely, uh, leg-wise, definitely a lot more poseable than uh, Ryuko. So, there you have that. Let's see if we can get her standing again. Stand. Stand, Satsuki-sama! Stand! Stand with honor. They had her standing this whole time, and now that I... I'm going to get her balanced now. She doesn't want to stand. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now, she does have many accessories. She does come with a bunch of alternate hands. Now, right now, <clears throat> excuse me, right now she has the relaxed hands on her. But she also comes with a pair of splayed out hands. Splayed! Get close here. Again, they're just white. But still, nicely detailed. And look really good, so there you go. Some nice splayed out hands. She does come with also sword holding hands. Right there. A pair of sword holding hands. She comes with a pair of closed fists. Right there. And she comes with a pair of uh, sheath holding hands. These are so she can hold the sheath for the for the bakuzan. You can see that opening is a bit wider there. So, there you go. Now this white is messing with my camera focus. <laughs> now, of course, she comes with her signature weapon, her sword, the Bakuzan, and very nicely done. Uh, the sheath does have a uh, kind of uh, like a kind of like a shading effect to it. There's a little bit of airbrushing here. I think that's just to kind of simulate some kind of weathering to it. I don't know how well it's coming off on camera, but it actually looks really, really nice. You see the nice silver details on here. These tassels right here are a soft plastic, so you don't have to worry about you know breaking that or anything. But nicely detailed. I like the black wash they did here on the handle. Looks really really nice and just makes all that pop. Just really really good. And you know some more silver throughout. And then of course you can unsheath the sword, and there you have the Bakuzan. And very cool. I love this sword. I have this sword. I bought this at Comic Con. <laughs> full-size version of it. Very cool. Cat hair not included, of course. Get out of here! But very nicely done. I love the two-toned uh, pattern there on the blade. This looks really nice. The blade itself is a bendy plastic again, so there's no real risk of breaking anything. So there you have that. Let me just slide it in, and it's only meant to go in one way. You can see the, uh, the opening there. So it just goes in one way, and you just Line everything up, and boop, there you go. Now you have your Bakuzan. So, 
We'll get into uh, her holding all these weapons in a little bit, but we have more accessories to show off. She does come with alternate faces. Right now, she does have her serious face, so right now she's serious Satsuki. She also comes with a smirking face, so she can be smirking Satsuki, slightly amused Satsuki. She's amused because you think you can actually beat her. <laughs> that makes her smirk, so she're there. <laughs> she has her smirking face, and she also has angry Satsuki face. So she can yell down at those pigs in human clothing! So yeah, I love the way that's done. The mouth again, nicely detailed. Just very, very anime looking and looks really nice. The paintwork is just, just wonderful. Wonderful. Now of course you do get some alternate eyeballs, just like Ryuko. So right now we'll use the smirking face just for, uh, just to demonstrate here. Now right now she just has the set where she's looking straight forward. This is eye set. See right here. See the numbers actually molded into the middle there. This is eye set number zero. What she has on right now is eye set number one. So this is eye set zero. And when you plug these in, right here, you can see now she is looking off to the side. So you have that. And then just remove this. There we go. And then we will plug in eye set number two right here so I set number two basically has her looking down which I think works a little bit better with the uh, with the angry face because she usually looks down upon people when she's yelling at them so just remove that and these definitely do stick in a lot more securely than they did on uh, Ryuko and then you have I set number three right here which as you can clearly see is just her looking off to the other side so, there you go. So you can have her looking in various directions. And very, very cool. So, again, these eyes can be a little hard. They, they, they do go in there quite securely. So, they have that. So, let's start swapping some parts around and get some cool stuff going here. So, to switch Satsuki's face, you're just going to take uh, your fingernail, just kind of get into this seam right there in the hairline, and just kind of start prying it forward right there and then you're just gonna pop off the front of her scalp and then you're just going to rip off her face and ah that's disturbing that's that's disturbing so disturbing so yeah that <laughs> so now what will we do with hey don't you fall on me satsuki kiryuans don't fall How dare you so what we'll do is we'll take Angry Screaming Face and then we will put in, uh, which one? Okay, we'll put in eye set number two here. So I'll plug that in there. Oops, get in there. Eye set number two, right there. And then you just take this peg, plug it into the port right there. There's a little bar right there that'll plug in right here to the forehead line. Line it all up. Push it on, give her a bangs back, just push that back on, and there you go. Now she's angry. She's angry, Satsuki. And of course you can put her in her signature pose. Have her buckles on here. See if we can do it. Kind of, sort of. Take a little bit more work than I'm able to do here. I'm just trying to get through this video, but <laughs> get here. And there we go. Oh, there we go. Not getting her to stand is a whole different story. There you go. You can kind of. Obviously, if you if you fiddle with it a little bit more, you can have it looking perfect. But you can get her in her signature Satsuki stance there with her Bakuzan. So there you have that. So now let's get her holding some stuff. So we will get uh, the sheath holding hand. And the hands, swapping out the hands is very, very easy. You just take the post, you just pull them right out. Boom, they just come out. So we'll take this hand and plug it in. Right there. And then we'll pull this other hand out here. Come on. And we'll get a sword holding hand. And we'll plug that on. So now we'll just take this out and this will go right into this hand right here. As our sheath holding hand. So we have that. And then we get the Bakuzan. And just get that into her other hand. 
These hands are very, very tight. Ah, come on. Work with me, Satsuki. Work with me. There we go. So there she is. Wielding her Bakuzan. She's ready to beat somebody up. She's ready. She means business. There you go. <laughs> very, very cool. Now again, if we can get her balanced here. Never had trouble. Never had trouble getting her standing. It's because the camera's on. That's the way it always works for me. Once I turn the camera on, things don't want to work. So we have Satsuki, and just for a comparison, here she is with Ryuko Chan, her nemesis Matoi Ryuko. So there, there are the two of them together, looking very, very cool. Just an awesome, awesome set of figures there. Really, really like that. This. There's two very cool, very well done figures. I mean, they have their flaws, but all around, I am still very happy with them. I think they're a very cool set of figures. So, we'll get Ryuko out of here. And much like Ryuko, these are basically 12-inch figures. They're, you know, pretty much Hot Toy size. So, um, yeah, very cool. Love this figure. Um, like I said, it, it does have its flaws, but it's still all around something I'm very happy with. Um... And again, uh, I will say, if you haven't seen Kill la Kill, watch it. It is an awesome show. I loved it. Um, I've been told by a couple people that apparently there's going to be a season two. If that is true, yes, bring it on. I can't wait because I love this show. I thought it was amazing. And if you haven't seen Kill la Kill, you can watch it on AnimeBaka.tv. I'll put a link to it in the description down below so you can watch it. It's also on Netflix, so if you are a Netflix subscriber... You can watch it on Netflix, but Anime Baka has the bonus episode. There was a bonus finale episode. So, if you want to watch the series, you can watch it all on Netflix if you want, but you can go to Anime Baka to watch that bonus episode that I think was only available if you bought the Blu-ray set. So, if you want to watch the show in its entirety, that's the way to do it. So, I will post links in the description down below again. But, uh, yeah. Love the series. If you haven't watched it, do check it out. I, I loved it. And if there is going to be a season two, then bring it on because I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I would love to get a figure of Satsuki with Junketsu in the regular, you know, the regular uniform version. Um, I've seen pictures of Ryuko with uh, Senketsu in the regular sailor uniform version. Um, I don't know when that's coming out, but please put it out soon because I want it. And if you're going to do that, then please... Do Satsuki with Junketsu in the regular uniform version, because I would like to have both versions. That would be awesome. Um, and honestly, I would like figures of the other characters, too. I mean, the Elite Four, all, all I, I want figures of all these characters, because I think they were all awesome on this show. So, there you go. I think that's pretty much it. So, if you would like a Satsuki of your own, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so do check it out. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention that is included in the packaging. I almost forgot. It does include a display stand. Again, it's a clear, just a clear base with a clear arm and a clear little grabby claw to put around your waist. I don't use the display bases because they take up a little bit more room than I like. That's why I don't even take them out of the bag. But, again, it does include a display base for them. Totally forgot to mention that. But there you go. So, again, don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the real action heroes, Kill La Kill, Satsuki, Kid You, and Kamui Junketsu version. And this is M-Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be a proud. Palm in your face. Um, excuse me, but, uh, I couldn't help but notice that, uh, you're a fan of large shoulder pads. So am I. Maybe we could go back to my place and I can show you my collection. Huh? Seriously, do I have a sign on me that says, please cut my head off? Can't catch a break.